This is video of dancing cows at John DeVos's dairy farm in Oakwood. But these cows aren't dancing because they're happy. They are dancing because they're being zapped by uncontrolled electricity. It's affecting our, our cow health, our, our health because of nerves. Like it's, it's really hard to go to a barn and, and worry, wonder what's, what's the problem going to be today. DeVos is one of a number of farmers in the area who are experiencing the devastating consequences of stray current on their farms. Some of them met on a farm on Zion Road in Little Britain to discuss the situation. They say at least six farms in the area are feeling the effects. Lauren Lance is an expert on stray current. He says he knows of at least 200 farms in Ontario affected by it. We got, we got everything from death to mastitis to lameness to uh, broken sores. It really makes you think about what you're doing. Uh, watching those cows leave uh, on a dead stock truck is about the hardest thing that you ever have to do. Robert Larmer has a dairy farm in Nestleton. He says 18 of his cows died in one year and he believes most of those deaths were caused by stray current. Having Hydro come in and say that uh, they've determined that they're not doing anything wrong um, yet when we put in blockers that we think are fixing the problem that we know is on their side all of a sudden the cows start getting better, reproduction gets better, production goes up. We haven't lost a cow since we put them in. Some farmers install dairy land filters to block the stray current. It works, but that current then just goes on to the next farm, causing problems there. Hydro works on a loop. Every single electrical current leaving the source must be returned to that source. There are three wires delivering electricity in Ontario, but the job of returning the electricity to the source is done by one neutral wire. The ever-increasing load of current going out on the wires means the neutral cannot handle the load. So Hydro One uses the earth as a ground for the excess current. Every third hydro pole in Ontario is now grounded into the earth. The current is traveling through the ground trying to get back to the source. That means some rural properties near hydro substations are getting higher levels of uncontrolled current. The voltage coming out of the earth on this farm on Zion Road in Little Britain is approximately 3.1 volts. It should be zero, but the acceptable limit set by the Ontario Energy Board is half a volt. Not only can you see it on this meter, you can also hear it. Stray current or uncontrolled electricity doesn't just affect livestock, it can also affect humans. In 2004, a Columbia University doctoral student was killed when she stepped on a metal plate in New York's East Village while walking her dog. Stray voltage was blamed. In Toronto in 2008, a dog was killed by stray voltage and a child zapped. I got to point out that it's in every home and uh, people that, just a simple thing like a, a water, t outside water tap, if it's connected back to the electrical system and it has this potential on, every time you touch that tap, um, there's a potential current going through your body. Experts say the solution is to add a second neutral wire or a thicker neutral wire. The Ontario Energy Board regulates the industry and did not answer our request for comment as of our deadline. Farmers on Zion Road have been asking for answers for more than a year, but to no avail. This is a free-for-all and nobody cares and they're getting away with it.